Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Swap, and I'm the 4-H Ag Agent in Grant County, New Mexico. And today I'm going to be doing a little presentation on straw bale gardening. Uh, straw bale gardening in the past few years has gotten to be a very popular um, new way of gardening. Um, it's just kind of a new way of container gardening. Um, but there's a few things you need to know before you get started doing it. So I thought I would make a video and hopefully this will help you get started. So what is straw bale gardening? Straw bale gardening is, a, is simply a different type of container gardening. The main difference is that the container is actually the straw bale itself. Held together with two or three strings, the outside crust of the bale serves as the container. Benefits of straw bale gardening. It's virtually weed free. There's no soil borne diseases. Um, heat of bales jump starts the spring growth, which is good for us um, here in Grant County um, because we have kind of a, we don't have a, a really long um, growing season. Um, there's no double digging. Um, they're also elevated, um, which saves your back, saves your knees. Um, and there's no one trampling on your beds and stepping on your plants. It's pretty obvious to see those straw bales out there. Um, it's cost saving. It's great for renters or others who are not wanting to invest a, lot, invest a lot of money into lumber or other permanent fixtures. It's also a really good conversation starter. Selecting straw bales. You're going to want to note that hay is not straw. Buy from feed stores. They will deliver if need be. So if you're... Um, you know, elderly or a little older, you would like someone to deliver that for you. The feed stores will do that, especially um, right now during the COVID-19. Um, bales can be wheat, oat, rye, barley, or rice straw. And note the price difference between hay and straw. Hay will be a lot more expensive. Selecting the best spot. As much sun as possible. Bales allow for flexibility because you can put them on concrete, asphalt, gravel, or in the middle of your lawn. Um, they can go pretty much anywhere. You just want to be careful of putting them on a wooden deck as the bales will be continuously wet and may permanently stain. You're also going to want to be careful that it doesn't rot your deck. Ensure you have a convenient water source. A flat surface is best but you can stake them into position on a slope or place bricks or two by fours or something underneath them to level them. To prevent weeds from growing around the bales, you can put landscape fabric underneath if you're growing on dirt. So how does it work? Once the straw inside the bale begins to decompose, the straw becomes conditioned and ready to plant. The step-by-step -step process of conditioning creates an extraordinarily productive, warm, moist, and nutrient-rich rooting environment for young seedlings. So let's get started. Getting the straw bales conditioned is an essential part of the process and should be started approximately two weeks prior to the target planting date in your area. This planting date varies greatly depending on where you are in the world, but this gardening technique works anywhere in the world for seasonal spring, summer, or for winter gardens. Uh, usually my safe date here in Grant County is Mother's Day, which is coming up this weekend. So if you are still wondering what to get your mom for Mother's Day, uh, maybe getting her something um, where could, she could start uh, a straw bale garden um, would be something that would be good for her. You're gonna wanna condition the bale. Bales must be partially decomposed or conditioned prior to use. So here is how to do it. You, you place the bales in a sunny location, turn it so the cut ends of the straw, which is hollow, are facing up. And then you give, on day one, give the bales a thorough soaking with a hose, wetting them all over until water runs out the bottom of the bale. You might be surprised at how much water this can actually take. On day two, you're gonna sprinkle two cups of 10-10-10 lawn fertilizer on each bale and water thoroughly. 10, 10, 10 just stands for the amount of NPK, which is in the fertilizer, which stands for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. You're gonna wanna try to wash as much of the fertilizer as possible down inside the bale. Keep the bale wet. 
The secret to getting the conditioning or decomposition going is water and a nitrogen source. Compost just doesn't break down quickly enough and cow and horse manure can have weed seeds in it. Day three. On day three, water the bales again. Day four, sprinkle one cup of fertilizer evenly over each bale. Water thoroughly once again. So why do we condition the bale? This conditioning process builds up the bacteria level inside the bale until the bacteria completely colonize the bale. The bacteria begin to consume and digest the straw, breaking down the cell walls and releasing the molecules inside those stalks inside the bale, essentially creating soil. Day five. On day five, the bale should be heating up. You can use a thermometer to take the temperature of the bale a few inches down. A metal meat thermometer with a long spike works well for this. You may be surprised at how hot the bales get. 140 degrees is typical. Day six. On day six, sprinkle another cup of fertilizer on each bale and water again. Day seven is another water only day. Keep checking the temperature of those bales though. Day eight through nine. On day eight, add another cup of fertilizer and water thoroughly. Day nine is another water only day. Day 10, add a final cup of fertilizer to each bale and water thoroughly. Fertilizer, how much and what kind? By now you have added six cups per bale of 10-10-10 lawn fertilizer. You could use half as much 20-10-10 the point of adding fertilizer is to provide nitrogen to jumpstart the growth of beneficial bacteria that will spend the rest of the season turning the bales into compost and feeding your veggies. Are we done yet? From day 11 on, water the bales each day and monitor the temperature. When the bales cool down to ambient temperature, they are ready to plant. Planting. Straw bales should be ready for planting three to four weeks after conditioning begins. To plant transplants such as tomatoes, dig a hole in the top of the bale. Loosen transplant roots and then place the plant in the hole and gently firm the straw and some quality potting mix around the plant's roots. Seeds. Make some holes in the straw and fill them with potting mix and then plant your seeds in the potting mix. You're going to water immediately after planting. Suggested number of plants per bale, you're going to want to do two to three tomatoes per bale, four peppers per bale, four to six cucumbers, two to four squash, two pumpkins, two winter squash, two to three zucchini, and lettuce and beans need to be spaced per package instructions. Watering. Keep the bales moist by watering them daily and don't let the bales dry out. If the bales aren't kept moist by sprinklers, porous wall soaker hose or drip system can be used to apply water. Fertilizing. The straw does not provide all the essential nutrients needed for plant growth like soil or a premium potting mix does. Straw bale plants need to be fertilized once a week using a water-soluble garden fertilizer containing nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and micronutrients. The oldest leaves of vegetable plants turn yellowish if they are deficient in nitrogen. Nitrogen deficiency is common when growing plants in straw bales. Potassium defi deficiency shows up as a purpling of the leaves, and brown leaf edges can indicate a potassium deficiency. What's next? Remember to keep the bales and the plants watered. The bales are very porous. You may see some grass growing. Don't worry about it. When it's time to harvest, if you have planted roots, it is easy peasy. No digging, you just break up the bale and pull out the potatoes or the sweet potatoes. Use the leftover straw on your garden um, or other vegetable beds as um, kind of a cover. 
The one thing to keep in mind is that you are not able to actually recycle bales from year, year to year um, because by the end of the year, they're usually so decomposed and so used, which is a good thing, um, that you're going to want to start over with fresh bales next year. Happy gardening! If you have any further questions, again, my name is Jessica Swap, and I work at the Grant County um, Cooperative Extension Office here in Silver City, New Mexico. You can give me a call at 575-388-1559. Um, we are currently kind of in and out right now just because of the COVID-19. So you can call and leave a message or you can email me. I check them regularly at jessiej, which is J-E-S-S-I-E-J, -S -S -E at nmsu.edu.